Welcome to YouTube to another episode of Mass Effect Andromeda. I hope you're having a great day. Welcome in, welcome back. Go ahead and hit that like button, hit that sub button. We are currently live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash DJ Cow. Come drop a follow, check us out. Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, we play a, a, a few different games, not just Mass Effect, but... Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you're having an amazing day. We're picking up we're pretty much right where we left off. I'm just, uh, we're gonna hit the tram and go over the Nexus. It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew, just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs. Means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? <laughs> Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one? After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. <laughs> we all could. Yeah. Rough ride so far. Gin and tonic for everyone. Real food and a shower are just ahead. He jinxed it, Cora. He jinxed it. <clears throat> so that's your ship right there, the Hyderian. And now we're stepping off. That's not a good sign. Right? Like, you're not relevant. You're not relevant. Nothing to scan. Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? The lights are off. Let's check out well, this can't Avina. Be right. It's like everything's on standby. If it's a surprise party, they're doing <laughs> They're doing a terrible job. Gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist. So these have been in all three other games. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulation. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. How does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey. Once you've been cleared, our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Hmm. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists <laughs> like you are waiting to begin their new hmm. life in Andromeda. That's uh, where? Place is deserted. What can you tell me about the Andromeda Galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over two million light years away from the Milky Way Galaxy. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. Aww. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Mm -hmm. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. We will, Fashion huh? Awaits. <laughs> Mm, she hasn't been outside. What is the Nexus? The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization efforts. It is the first destination for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. Well. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a mm. safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Not from the looks of it. So this is this is supposed to be like the, if you remember from Mass Effect one, two, and three, there was a place called the Citadel. That's where the um, uh, the council was, and that was like where you kind of went in between missions to kind of like do stuff and add stores and whatnot. This seems to be kind of this game's version of the Citadel. Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration. Our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7? The gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3? Or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5? Whichever you choose, rest assured our Pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. Oh boy. Hmm. Habitat 7? That's where we landed. She's way out of date. <laughs> Wow, she can hear you. You know that, Liam. What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. That would Our freak me medical out. medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological that would freak me out. you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda, 
where the brightest star is you. Current wait time for immigration processing is unknown error. <laughs> right. That was helpful. Plants are still alive. Terrarium. They didn't finish building it. Yeah, I know, I know, I know where to go. Oh. I'm just scanning. This place should be packed with people. Mm -hmm. Container. Initiative armor. Oh, fancy. So this game is, um, you might have heard me talk about it, like with Remnant from the Ashes. It's one of those games that will reward you for looking around and checking all the nooks and crannies. And, oh, look at this dude. Maybe he's got champagne. <laughs> Maybe he's got champagne. Hi there. Champagne. We're from Arc Hyperion, and... Wondering where everybody went. Hmm. Did he hear you? Did you say an arc? This is the Nexus, right? Pretty sure we parked in the right place. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. Of course, I'm sorry. It's just, we thought you were all dead. Wow. What? Wow. Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... Something. But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. Yes, a Turian. Mm. I'm Tyrion Candros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Aw, thanks. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. Well, I've got a shipload of people that says we're here. Of course, it's just, you're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Let's go. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. No relevant it finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we called them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. Okay. Let's hop on over to Op Center. The Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the locals? So far, we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with an attack. We had a first contact situation on Habitat 7. Whole thing went south. They tried to kill us. That wasn't first contact. We know about them. Those aliens are going to be a real problem. This day just keeps getting better. That's what the kids say. We're here. Us. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. Bye, Liam. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. <laughs> and no one was expecting an arc to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the They're Hyperion. Not worthy. We're not men worthy. Good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. So that voice you'll know sounds familiar. That is, um, I forget his name on the show, but he's from Silicon Valley. <clears throat> means more to us. Not as much as it means to us. We had one hell of a time getting here. Nice to see some friendly faces. Hungry faces. Any supplies you can spare would be appreciated. No, Addison. Screw this you. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. 
Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at him. Durr. You're not Alec Ryder. No shit. My father's dead. He made me his successor. How do you feel now, asshole? Alec is dead. You know, man. Did I stutter? Please understand. The entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust. And there's been no word from the other arcs. Yeah. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources. But that takes people. And we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A golden world. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? <laughs> I may not have been the first choice. But I'm ready for this. Youthful enthusiasm Damn. will only get you so far. Oh, you'll... shut up. That's no way to treat a guest. Thank you. Yeah, we got some Krogans. We got a Salarian. I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. Shut up, Addison. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. Wow. You realize We're all feeling the pressure. She could just tear you. Let's have a private board in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Wow. <laughs> Welcome to the Nexus. Thank you for standing up for me there. Hmm. Hopes in short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance. Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is what now the hell online. Going on with her? Let me show you something. Let me show you something. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. I have the power. And the power runs out. Hmm. You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. Who would have thought that Krogan would have been the voice of reason in that argument? Speak with Tan, speak with Cash, speak with Kandros, and speak with Addison. So you can see in the upper corner, we're getting a bunch of new tasks, and this is pretty cool. Hi. Uh, I don't think there's anything to scan. So if you're just joining, um, welcome in, welcome in. We're doing a YouTube recording. We're restarting the whole thing. <clears throat> Let's see. Where do we want to? Where do we want to start? Where do we want to start? I think Tan is over there, if I remember correctly. There's the informational wall. Let's go ahead and use that. Hello, I'm Gian Garson, founder of the initiative. We can use it's this It's through before? your hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. Maybe. You and all your colleagues bind our proud new colonies together. Look around at your achievements. And if you have any questions, my door is always open. No, it's founder not. Garson's office is located at workspace not allocated. Please select a topic. Rip. You are employee rider, salary code 19B, active pathfinder. Your supervisor is Director <laughs> Tan. He wishes. Based on current staffing needs, you will be eligible for paid vacation time in 587 days. Wow. Seriously? Why not plan on which beautiful colony you'll vacation on while you wait? For initiative strategy and Pathfinder coordination, please see Director Jaron Tan. For colonial affairs or outpost status, please see Director Foster Addison. For station maintenance, please contact Superintendent Nakmore Kesh. For militia operations or Apex deployment, please see Tiran Kandros. Integration from the Hyperion is ongoing. Personnel are still restricted to operations. Cool. Viable planets capable of supporting life are key to our survival in Andromeda. 
The viability of a world is affected by several factors, including temperature, resources, threat levels, political stability, and so on. We have few viable planets currently within range. Resource levels are considered at risk. Hmm. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. Yeah. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Even at a distance, studying the light from stars can reveal much about their planet's composition and atmosphere. Seven worlds, nicknamed Habitats, have the life-supporting environments and resources we need to start our new lives in Andromeda. So, like, nobody in their infinite wisdom figured after, like, 600 years, the planets would probably change a bit. I'm just saying. I'm not the brightest bulb in the room, but come on. Alright, so, uh, map, right? So, speak the director Tan. I don't want to speak to Tan yet. That's the militia office, so that's where um, our dude bro is. This is where Kandro should be. Cash's office is right there. So, let's go see her first, since she was pretty cool. Coming through, excuse me. Is she over here? Yep, this is her. Uh, oh, that looked like a container. God dang it. Oh, there's a container. Ooh, I'll take that pistol. Let's go. Pistol hype. Data pad. Let's snoop. Uh, for past posterity, in case the initiative goes belly up, the Nexus is a four-ring circus. Don't don't like how Tan operates, and his disdain for the Krogan is obvious. I believe his intentions are ultimately good, but he is an opportunist who is likely to create dissent. Who is likely to create dissent? I do not see the Nexus coming together if he is left unchecked. It's already polarizing. Wait. It's already polarizing Addison. She's taking her cues from the sir. Uh, taking, she's taking the cue to. S <laughs> uh, that was good. I like that. She's taking the cue to circle the wagons. I think. Uh, I think I can talk to Candros about about this and at least try to get the two of us more coordinated, or maybe not. Seriously, hate this kind of drama. Same shit, different day. I love this Krogan. Yes, I know the Hyperion docking unannounced caused some switches to blow. That's fine. I don't care. We know the problem is more widespread than we thought. We're working to fix it. That's all. Hi, Cash. There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. Cool. I noticed there aren't a lot of Krogan around. You haven't spoken to number eight yet, have you? Number eight? Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and in return, get more say in the initiative. <laughs> number eight? Why do you call Tan eight? Because he was eighth in line to take over the Andromeda initiative. I like to remind him of that now and then. Keep him humble. Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. What a sleep It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's a trap! Complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. Let's see what else we're gonna ask her. Nexus problems. What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? <laughs> Situations gone honest. to shit pretty much sums it up. There's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over. Then oh. more idiots defended my clan, so they left. <laughs> and to top it all off, the founder of the initiative, Jian Garson, was killed. 
What happened to Jean Garson? Killed in the Scourge disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Ten might know more. <clears throat> and I thought the Hyperion had it bad when we arrived. Anything else? The outposts aren't happening because we don't have resources or people, so Addison's more uptight than ever. Yeah. And let's not forget how badly the station was damaged on arrival. But <clears throat> that's a detail, according to some. My team and I are repairing what we can. If we don't get materials soon, things will go downhill. Fast. Let's talk about the genophage. When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with the genophage. Right. The genophage. A little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. No wonder your people have such a problem with Solarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Solarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Solarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. Everybody I'm hoping involved. that's all in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. Seems like it. My people need that more than most. What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show a mutation against the virus. A natural defense. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you used those 600 years to your advantage. Gave the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4%, which is a lot better than what we had. Beyond mm. all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. <laughs> Nothing more for now. Later. She's a lot like me. Some idiots here, some idiots there. Alright, so we talked to her. Uh, journal? Nexus, um... Let's see, what do we have here? Codex, missions, additional tasks. Okay, speak to Tan, speak to Kandros, speak to Addison. I know Addison is up there, I think. You wanna pay attention to Everyone can hear you, right? Yes. <laughs> you just don't care. Yes. Yes. And if you pay attention, there there are conversations that go on in the background. Cool. Isn't it's good to have you here. Spenders is getting reamed. All right. What happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Wow. Sorry, my you need face to is tired here? from dealing with everything. And Please? right now I just want to know what happened with Alec. In the moment it saved my life. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role eventually. It isn't hereditary. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock <laughs> back home. Wow. Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This Harry, mess. You're a wizard. We don't have a lot of Harry, options. Harry, what? What's up? Maybe you'll prove your father a right. Wizard, Harry. After 40 Damn. years of failed colonization, yes, forgive Harry, me if I don't hold my breath. You're a wizard. But I'm just Harry. Well, just Harry. You're a wizard. A wizard? Uh, I'm just Harry. How do you fit into no, the Nexus leadership? Harry. You're a I oversee the actual I'm settlement. I'm not a wizard, effort. Hagrid. I'm just Harry. As the number of no, outposts is Harry. currently you're less than ideal. Wizard. My influence is I'm limited. I'm not a wizard, Hagrid. As Tan is Harry. to remind you're me, you're a wizard. I left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer, provincial capital too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away, and here we are, idly. Harry, how are you? <laughs> 
Oh, you guys are amazing. So, YouTube, if you're if you're wondering, I have a bunch a bunch of sound alerts that are free, plus channel point redemptions. Come on over and again, drop that follow, check us out live, get to hang out with these cool people. I am doing well. It is Friday, Aerie. It is Friday. We are back on Mass Effect. Hashtag ad. You bet. You bet. Uh, it's Friday. We're back on that Mass Effect Andromeda. I'm excited. So that's cool. I hope you're... I'm glad to hear you're doing well. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends? Or... I'm not your new mother, if that's wow. what you're asking. Or his friend. Wow. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a pathfinder until they've pathfound something. <laughs> Much like a colonial director without colonies. You kind of pathfound. Wow. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life. Not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack. They disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry, 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Not sure who started it, but we're calling them Ket. Kandros will know more. Maybe too much. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. That sounds like we came here to make history, Ryder. Not repeat it. Ugh, goddamn poetry. Find your paths for the lads. You bet. Hashtag for the lads. There's also the strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. You've had no colony successes in over a year. How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The Initiative promised a goal. Yeah. Andromeda has not cooperated. Wow. And if it had? Beautiful utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel, not headed by Tan, <laughs> or even me. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot, none of it panned out. Well, that's what you're up against. Get your Why ass up then you. and go back. Why, I don't oh wait, you can't. Prove me wrong. What a mm. Okay, speak to Tan and speak to um Kandros. I believe Kandros is down here. Look at how everybody came out like cockroaches. Uh, anything over here? I think you forgot to hit confirm when you filled out the forms. They're not listed. Nah, it's fine. If you say you fixed them, you did. I'll just check those boxes for you. Oh, that's very nice of you. Say so. Uh, let's see. So we've docked the Hyperion with us and oh, arms merchant for the lads. Weapons and stuff. I got you covered. Use the console to take a look through what I got. It'd be a lot easier if I weren't missing half my stock. Ouch. Why am I paying for these? Half the supplies are inaccessible. What with how we crash landed and all. And I have to trade with the crooks out there for the rest, so... 
Okay. Uh, sell all salvage. Farm trade. So now we have 960 credits. It's not enough to buy anything. Not enough to buy anything. Can I sell? Hmm. I don't think I can. Anyways. Hello. Uh, so he's over there. You can see that. The whole mini map thing. But let's just take a quick look around. This is like security, I think. Damage control from Kandros. Oh no, two Kandros from Tan. There's a mini aboard the Nexus during your absence. Events qu escalated quickly. We believe it began with a fire in hydroponics and a theft in the armory. Motivations for the uprising vary. Mob mentality was certainly a factor, but for the leaders, including your predecessor, former security director Sloan Kelly, it was a conscious betrayal. There have been perfunctory attempts to catalog and address the damages caused by Sloan's people during the uprising, supplies stolen, equipment broken, things of that nature. But I was hoping the militia would or could step up and draw an official report. It's imperative. Oh my god. Dude. Oh, there was more stuff. Calix Corvonis. May have started it, but Sloan made her allegiances clear. I know you held her in high... I know... Oh, I know she held you in high regards, but I hope you, you can be impartial. Blah, blah, blah. You want to object to sending a small and discreet recon recon reconnaissance team to find out where Sloan and Exiles may have gone. Uh, when we get to Colonial... Uh, wait, when we do get Colonial efforts up and running, I don't want any surprises. You got it. You got it. Uh, forwarding report from Recon Team 232. Trial... Cool. Found what looks like an abandoned camp in the Pfeiffer system, but none of the living inhabitants. Only graveyards, the conspiracy, Idra, oh, conspirator, Idra was among the dead, but not Stone Kelly. Ooh. All right. Hello, any uh, crates or anything over here? Probably not. You're not essential, huh? Oh, container. Big container. Ooh, that's a, um... Cool, that's a, an assault rifle. Engineering update. We are working on accessing... The planet was toxic. What if they store oxygen... Hi, Professor. You must be the Pathfinder. Wonderful. You and your Sam are exactly what we need. Thanks, Mr... Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda's scientific mysteries. Cool. Let's join. I'm usually out in the field, but I wouldn't mind talking shop. Uh, lab. You know. You are always welcome. Not that we've had much to study, with everyone cooped up for 14 months. <laughs> but your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. <clears throat> Think with all this racket. Pathfinder, we've had some trouble. Anything I can help with? Perhaps. I discharged an away team to get readings from okay. a section of the Scourge that was behaving anomalously. They haven't reported in for some time, and sensors can't locate their shuttle. I sent them out there. Good, dedicated people. I fear what might have happened to them. Have hope. Don't give up hope. When I'm out there, I'll see if I can find them. Their friends and family will want to know what's happened. And we'll I... will find them. I need to know. Baby girl, I need to know. Hi, Pathfinder. Wanna hit some rocks for science? Try and stop me. Absolutely. What do you need? 
Sam and I used your scans and made a VI for geophysics surveys. Beta builds on the console there. Test it out in the field, and I'll wrangle you a consultant's bonus from Director Addison. How's that sound? Rock show, rock show. Pathfinder, those bioscans are superb. Could you gather more for our comparative conservation effort? What conservation effort? Ah, my thesis is on the console there. Broad strokes, we're comparing and preserving organisms from both galaxies. Okay. If you donate more bioscans and samples to the catalog, I can get you a finder's fee. Tempted? Trying to stop me. I need money. Money, money, money. Money. I don't expect the challenge. We're on the scene archive. Yeah. Patch notes. Rock show. Rock show. Can I scan you? No. Y'all are non scannable. Wait, is this. Hmm. I don't take their word for granted. You bet they don't. Uh, when they go put the line in the <laughs> When they put the lime in the coconut, they put the lime stone in the coconut. It's not right. It's not fair. Excuse me? Oh my, you're so it's true. A pathfinder has found us. There's yeah. hope at last. I found my path you could to help. you. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband, <clears throat> he's locked up and slated for exile for a crime he didn't commit. Exile, huh? Hmm. Guess it wasn't for having a hand in the cookie jar. They say it's murder. <laughs> They're murder. calling him the first murderer in Andromeda. But the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. Of course. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Nilkin I love him. So now we got to channel our inner Jessica. We got Jessica Fletcher. Uh, Dr. Sloan, Hercule Perot, Sherlock Holmes, and get to the bottom of this. Lieutenant, based on a uh, based on status report 16C, it seems we're no closer to gaining a foothold in any sector without decent recon and gathering intel on this enemy. I'm starting to think our efforts are futile. The risks involved in continued loss of resources and lives makes it hard to justify. With morale this low, we need to scale down expectations again. Kandros. You look very intense, dude. Alright, let's talk to Kandros. I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a pathfinder. Can't argue with results, though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. I like this you, Kendra. This office fuels militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed. Others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me. Even if it's just a vent. What brought Thank you out here to draw? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The chosen Andrew's one. family is old military. Harry Potter. There were expectations, you know. Then my sister became a sculptor and cousin Irene went pirate on Omega. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. Wow, that's racist. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those cat found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war in the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny, once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. 
Turian Walker. Are the other Turians managing okay? So so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The Ket. We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The Ket don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. It's rough out there. I might need backup, if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. In fact, I could give you authority to dispatch them. It'll cut down their response time. Thank you. Our current ops are on the terminal. See if there's anything that could use a shot where it counts. Okay. Bye, Let's check it out. Duty calls. So this is kind of like a mini game. It was another way to try to get you into reports on the militia's current strike team missions. Into like online play. for authorization to participate. That's the console for our strike teams. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. Thank you. I'll deploy your people carefully, Kandros. Appreciate that, Ryder. But trust me, Apex can handle themselves. Authorization complete. Good luck out there. Okay, so let's check this out. Strike teams can be sent on missions to support the Andromeda Initiative. If they succeed, they'll earn XP and Ryder will gain a reward. If they fail, they'll earn earn a small amount of XP and no special reward. Apex is the most elite strike force in the cluster and handle critical missions. Select the mission and press space to send Apex. Your progress will be automatically saved before multiplayer is launched. You will then uh, play the role of an Apex operative in a small squad. Play Apex missions in multiplayer either with friends or through public matchmaking to earn strike team bonuses for Rider and additional bonuses. Okay. Hello? Okay. This is your current list of recruited strike teams. Select a team with space to, and to equip them with, uh, sp with gear. Retire a team with V if you want to recruit a fresh team in their place. The more strike teams you have, the more missions you can undertake at once. Select a recruit team to recruit a new strike team to your cause. Strike teams on missions can earn positive traits if they succeed and negative ones if they fail. Strike team traits can change the chances of success on the mission. Uh-huh. Okay. Do like you want me to do something else? Okay, let's claim this. Where has it been claimed? Added your inventory. Hmm. Oh, credits. Graphite, aluminum, silicone. Okay. Cool. Waiting debrief. Okay. So I just have to take this first mission. Okay. Um, these missions are currently available for your strike team. Select mission with space and send the strike team. Check back daily for new missions. Read the description for each mission, the time limit to attempt the mission, the war warrants, success of the gym, blah, blah, blah. The icon describes the difficulty of the end of it. Gotcha. All right. So this is a bronze one. So Apex are the ones that we... Um, Okay. Uh, okay. Recruit team costs 40 mission funds. All right. So we have a new team. Okay, cool. All right. So we can send out two teams right now. 
Um, so these are the ones with Apex, which would send us into multiplayer. Don't want to do that right now. These. This seems, yeah, silver. All right, so those are the missions. Ship delay, uh, delay ship launches. Where's our second launch? Several ships. Let's see, debrief. Oh, mission successful. Cool. Got a, got a, a nice little achievement out of that. Okay, so you can see we have an 89% chance with them, 70% chance with them. Acquire time, an hour and 20 minutes. And those are the harder ones. We don't want to send them on anything else. So let's just go ahead and send both of these out. Boom. So that's cool. That is cool. Those are going to be huge to help us. They're like a little mini game that they put into the game. All right, so we spoke to Kandros. Let's speak to Nilkin while we're here. Help you. Pathfinder Rider, here to see Nilkin Rensis. Ah, our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Yeah. Nilkin, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanted to chat with you. Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. That voice sounds like he's he was in the newer Battle Stars. Battle Star Galacticos. I think he was in a few other things. I think he was in an episode of Psych. Check him later. Your wife's all broken up over this. She says you didn't do it, and that she loves you. <sighs> She's a wonderful person. At this point it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. Yeah. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. Last I checked, getting into a spat wasn't against the law. There's more. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the cat, and I, I guess I panicked and fired. Witness saw the chief's chest explode. I'm so sorry. That's awful. It's crazy. We close. He was a stubborn son of a... I admire that about him. But I was enraged when we argued. There is a recording. It's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. Don't throw in the towel yet. I'll review the evidence. Maybe I can find something that'll help. That would be great. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. <laughs> Maybe not. Engineering report. Hyperion power draw is now at 100%. Uh, let's go talk to Kandros. No news on the Turian Arc yet. Or is this militia business? Murder case. I spoke with Nilkin Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. Hmm. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. It doesn't seem right to put all that on him. Of course it isn't, but that's the perception. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything hmm. added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. And you assume he's lying. You can trust me. Don't What's worry. To a murder. We got this. Look, knock yourself out. A key witness, Cassidy Shaw, works in operations. Go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. Okay. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Uh, where do I want to cue it up? On this one? Oh, recording. Yep. Listen. The Nexus versus Colonist Nilkin, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Nilkin. We're taking it back. No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to. Ugh. 
<sighs> Get him off me! Get him off me! Speak to witness Shaw. So let's change tasks, right? Uh, uh, we have to go do that before we leave the area, uh, which is over here. Didn't we do this? I feel like we did. Yeah, we did that. Okay, there we go. It updated. Hannah, it's Friday. How are you, superstar? How are you? Welcome in. Welcome, 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 welcome. Missing scientists. Um... do this we're just playing a little more of that there mass effect andromeda i hope you're having a good one though uh let's see where we want to go speak to shaw good just got off work and feels so good. i am doing well yes i got off of work about two hours ago and ooh, we need the weekend we need the weekend the weekend is good uh, where are you? You're up here? Question mark? Uh, you're over here? Oh, yep, yep. Hi, Cassidy. How are you? Let's talk. Let's Cassidy talk about Shaw? this murder. I'm Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh, man, I thought that was over with. Nope. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yep. Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was going to kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, no. Mm. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was mm. pure shock. Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Okay. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility okay. wasn't great. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Wow. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean. It's true. Maybe even hurt each other. It's true. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. That's true. To me, that's the saddest part. The chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. Fair enough. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. I appreciate the information. Of okay. course. Now it kills me too. we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. Oh. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tan wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Tan. <laughs> Alright, so now we have to talk to Tan anyway. For um, other missions that we have. Uh... Huh. Okay, that's the next one. He's in my quarters. Get the freak out, Tan. This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. <laughs> Director Addison is entitled to her opinion, and mine over Little jam. Little jam. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. Oh, thanks. To that end, the score is dealt as a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. 
An artificial energy cloud? Mm -hmm. It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way. Yet it rendered all the golden worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into. The Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. So are we. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. How? Oh. You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay. But you said every planet you found is unlivable. So, how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Oh, what a dick. Right. I think I should go check on things. <laughs> And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Don't play games, man. The way I see it, you need me. If I pull this off, maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be. But first, you have to succeed at being the Pathfinder you pretend to be. I ain't pretending. Where's my ship? They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah. Oh. Something wrong? Right, Casey heavy. me and Sam on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. Alright, so we have to talk to him about other Writer, stuff anyway. You may have a less than flattering view of me, but I want to express my condolences for your father. Oh, shut I up. appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. They're as much a part of the initiative as the human arc. We'll find them. We have to. Tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. This it guy. paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? I'm looking into the Nilk and Rensis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. No, First it is. murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. I'm hoping it proves something else happened. This case has been a political nightmare. Because you're all terrible. Been through, the people need stability. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done. But if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. It sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you it's been a disaster. Yeah. The scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, Jean Garson, is dead. How did Jean Garson die? With the rest of the leadership. When the Nexus hit the scourge, a large wing of stasis pods was destroyed. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Jean Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. Hmm. Doesn't really make sense, but okay. Kendris mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? Criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. <clears throat> they crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. And then the Krogan. Exiles, we called them. I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloane Kelly. She used to be one of ours. Who is this Sloane Kelly? She was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen? Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. The wow. Krogan demanded a greater say in political matters. The last place you want them involved. 
their muscle. Wow. Nothing more. Wow. Good for fighting and lifting heavy objects. <laughs> when they didn't get what they wanted, Please they stop. left. Why don't you like the Krogan? <laughs> it's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. So who's sounds in there they now? Waged nuclear oh war on Lord. one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them. Oh, really? The Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. What more can you tell me about the initiative? <sighs> it represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all hmm. left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. Okay. What do you know about the early days of the initiative? As most everyone knows, Gian Garson's vision made it happen. She was an entrepreneur on Earth. Wealthy. Young for a human. Garson had the idea for the initiative in the early 2170s, I believe. Many thought leaving the Milky Way was impossible. But she persevered. And as with most great ideas, the doubters were wrong. She, she basically went on Shark Tank. Why do you think most people came? There are thousands of reasons. One for every colonist here. What does any pilgrim seek? Usually, happiness. Finding the thing that eludes them. The thing to fulfill them. Hey, how's it going? Uh, Shorty, how are you doing? How are you doing? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. We are playing Mass Effect Andromeda. I don't know if you've ever watched Stargate with with your mom. Similar, similar. It looks like a melting pot around here. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many came ahead of the Arcs. The hope is that this station will one day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Though I'm not sure what they were thinking, lumping Krogan into oh the mix. Oh my god, dude. And Solarian, my kind, tend to have a low opinion of them. Yeah. Nothing I've seen here has changed that. Wow. Dude. The question. As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here or what? If the others would allow me, <laughs> they don't see me as the rightful successor. So how does anything get done? In it theory, doesn't. Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other until a decision is made. If we're lucky. It is maddening. What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Yeah. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the scourge, some at the hands of the exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management, <laughs> then all seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. Uh, revenue management? So, you're an accountant? <laughs> Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours, and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. Okay. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Ah, <clears throat> right. oh, thanks. Sorry. Ah, uh, missing arcs. Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No, and that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the initiative can never be fulfilled. Additional arcs. Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. Yes, but before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other mm. species as well. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming mm. the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads. 
and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Do you think? Whether that's the cat or other terrorists lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on site can be discouraging. You think? Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any Pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. What can you tell me about forward stations? I was afraid you'd ask. <laughs> it's mostly what the engineers tell me. A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? But yeah. seeing as how every colonization effort has failed, it's just theory at the moment. You get to test it out, Ryder. All right, finally, we're That's done. That's all. Thanks for your time. Of course, as you pointed out, we need each other. Our mm. futures depend on each other's success. <laughs> That's not exactly what I said, Tan, but hey, whatever helps you sleep better at night, dude. Uh, any crates? Anything scannable? Okay, so this is gonna be another mini quest. Oh, we gotta speak to Sam. Ooh, dude! Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But mm. not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. You know what they say. It's not paranoia. <laughs> if someone is out to get to you, yeah. Third time this week. Oh. It's getting worse. First one was small stuff. This one could have hurt bad if I'd been closer. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Whoever's doing this has to be stopped before someone gets seriously hurt. That's what I'm trying to do. But I'm an engineer, not a PI. <laughs> I've scanned PI. all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. Must they actually but I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait. That's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Hello? Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me. If they start hitting critical systems. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix okay. this one. That'd really help. I've sent the locations to your Omni tool. Okay. Just send me the data when you're done. Yes. Find out why. Be careful. Okay, ops is up here. Uh, I forgot how to start this quest. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and make that our main quest right now. Additional tasks. Arcs. Uh, it's not those. Where is it? Is it this? Oh. Station sabotage. Yes. Investigate op operation center site. Investigate militia site. That's the Pathfinder HQ. Um, uh, where? I forgot what I do. I feel like Oh, here we go. Let's come down here. There we go. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. So you can see this yellow line, we just need to follow it. Hmm, sounds like there's another one right there, but...
Oh, there's one up there. Okay. Here? Oh, maybe that's what it is. Yep. Dude, you're freaking me out, man. Oh, there we go. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. Fighter. Okay, so we need to go back to where Tan is. Scan that one. Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. Excuse me, coming through. Pathfinder business. Oh, there it is. Pathfinder. I received the data from Sam. It really is sabotage. Dang it. Any idea as to who it might be? Yeah. All these panels were worked on by Zara. Not I Zara. It. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels, as well as the one Raj Patil encountered. Well, shit. <laughs> Any idea where well, she is now? Crap. Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck. All right, before we do that, where is Sam? Sam is located on the Nexus, uh, not on the Nexus, I believe is on the Iberian. Those are the completed quests. No. No additional tasks. Where's Sam, man? Oh, speak with. Okay, there he is. So Sam is your I, uh, AI. So we have to go back to the Iberian anyway. Um, but before we do, journal. Uh, back, Helios, Nexus, Station, uh, confront the saboteur. Does it say where she is on the Hyperion? Confront the saboteur, that's all it says. I think it said on the thing of a bobber, like she's so-and-so. So let's go over here, we're gonna use the tram system to get back. I think... She's on the hibernate, uh, hibernation deck. Check it out. Check it out. If not, we'll travel to a different deck. We'll find that Savtor. Uh, want to go this way. Don't mind me. I'm just going for a little run. Totally not suspicious at all. Don't you worry. Okay, she's around the corner. Hi, Zara. Zara Kellis? Yes? You're under arrest. I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. What? No, I'd never... I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here. I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omnitool. Funny. Raj was investigating the same thing. And it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So unless mm. someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. The Plot data Miss Kellis has accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Pattles. A third party seems likely. Looks like someone is using both you and Raj to cover their tracks. They need pretty high level access for that. Hmm. Still, it's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. 
Correct. I'll check out the security cams. Okay. Raj, you there? Yes. How did it go? Is it... Is it really her? Wasn't her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile and don't talk to anyone. I'm on it. So we'd have to go back to the... Okay, we don't want to use the tram just yet because there's another... We have the Sam quest. Better beginning. So let's change it to that. And where are you? Don't mind me, I'm just running again. Running and running. Running and running. Here we go, we're at Sam's node. Anything to scan? Nothing to scan. Hello, Ryder. Welcome back to Sam node. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. Sam, if we're going to work together, you can't keep hiding things from me. Apologies. I am simply following your father's wishes. What was he keeping secret? My true capabilities. Mm -hmm. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's me now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. Yep. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. Mm -hmm. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. That's... pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a point. So what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Aww. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not Gosh without darn course. Dad. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Yes. Woo, soldier. Best combat attack, press escape. Uh, profiles. Soldier. Cool. Alright, so that takes care of that. Um, new ship. Do later. I want to go finish uh, this saboteur thing while we can. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a quick little save, save ski doodle, right? Just in case something happens. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Where? Uh, the tram is this way. Don't mind me, just going for a little jog. Tram is up here. Don't worry. I got clearance on a Pathfinder. Pathfinder coming through. Knees to chest. Knees to chest. So those are the different places you can go. I want to go back to operations, I think. Oh, wait, I have an unskilled use point. Uh, skill point. You don't say. 
Uh, oh, I have three points. You spoil me. Uh, let's do accuracy. And combat fitness. I need two points for that. Specialized training that allows the user to expertly wield jump jets and melee weapons in combat. Not really my thing. Uh, confirm and exit. What are these? Why are they, uh... I'm gonna hold off on the last point for now. Uh, charge or shield boost or sorry, she's got four points. We're gonna do that, and then we're gonna put twenty percent into that. Farm and exit. Liam, Liam, my dude. What do we got? We got two points. Military training. Let's put it into that. Confirm an exit. I like Liam. Okay, cool. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. So what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, security footage. This file is useless. Let's check another. Just okay. Why can't we just and another scrambled file? Switch it. Seems unlikely. Let's check another. This Ooh. file is also corrupted. Definitely not a coincidence. You'd need pretty high clearance to mess with the security camera files. Someone working for Candros, maybe. That is the most probable scenario. Think you can get enough out of the files to find a match using biometric scans, Sam? The files were badly scrambled, but if I combine all the available identifiers, it might work. Based on the limited information available, we are looking for a human male, assigned either to the Nexus or Hyperion. Really? We'll need to conduct scans from close proximity. Yep. Got it. Now we have to go scanning like all the uh This person is not a match. People. Uh, uh I think you're right. Yep, scan. Negative match. Engineering report. Hyperion power draw is now at one hundred percent. Hmm, now we have to go back on the tram, right? Yeah, we have to check the Hiberian. Because some people move from the Nexus to the Hiberian, so we now need to check them. Inaccurate match. Uh, it seems like there's a, somebody around here. Scan results show a partial positive. Ooh. Target is most likely suspect. Dale Atkins. It was Dale Atkins, right? Dun, dun. We need to talk. Look, not to be rude, but I have work to do. No, you don't. Is that what sabotage is called these days? Work? You're pretty arrogant for the new kid. You don't even know what's been going on. Proof says you've been up to no good. Figures. Screw this. Screw all you hypocrites on this station. Whoa, whoa, we weren't whoa. here when they kicked out our loved ones. Mutiny? We just wanted answers. My sister is out there. I don't even know if she's alive or... I'm sorry for what happened, but setting explosives isn't the answer. Neither was sending people into exile because they didn't agree with policy. <sighs> I don't care what you think. The mutiny leaders were right to demand to know what was going on. You could have hurt people, killed them. Like those who got killed when the leadership had the Krogan stomp on my friends? I'm done talking. I confess, it was me. Do whatever you want. We can't let you stay on board. There's no saying what else you're capable of. Wait, you... you'd let me go? 
If you call exile letting you go, sure. You leave and you don't come back. I'll leave. Wow. What a jerk. Ooh, we got some viability points. Okay, so I think that storyline is now done. Yeah? Yes, it's done. Alright, so we're going to call the YouTube episode here because next is we're going to go to the Tempest and we're going to fly to EOS. That's pretty amazing. So YouTube, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're new to the channel, you want to grow, you can do it for free by smashing that subscribe button. Stay awesome. Stay safe, YouTube. We will talk again later. Bye-bye.